Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. So there have been quite a few of you who have asked me to talk about some niche fragrances because I know I've been focusing a lot more on cheapies and thrift store finds and designer stuff. Um, I still really love my niche fragrances. <laughs> the problem is that um, where I am, it's kind of hard to test them here. Uh, we don't have any like niche stores as far as I know. Um, but luckily I did bring some samples with me. So today I want to do a first sniff and first impression of a fragrance from the house of Emma Wash. And this one is called Rose Incense. So I'm not sure if this is a new release or if this was a fragrance that was just renamed into Rose Incense. I, I don't know. <laughs> I do know that this is part of their um, Opus Library collection. And the bottle, let me just uh, show you guys really quickly here, uh, looks like that. So yeah, uh, I just think that incense is one of my favorite notes at the moment. I do love the note of rose. Also, when I first, you know, started in this journey, I didn't really like rose as a note, but now I really love it. And so putting rose and incense together sounds amazing. So yeah, let's... Uh, Let's uh, get my nose on this one for the very first time. I don't know what the notes are. Uh, I haven't seen any reviews on this one. So uh, let's see how this one goes. Rose Incense from Amouage Library Collection. Oh, <laughs> oh you guys. It's stunning. I think, oh my gosh, it's so nice. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so rose, you get it right away. It's a little bit sweet. There's a, like a sweet smokiness about this rose. Um, I also get the incense in here as well, but it's not like super churchy. It's not very dry. There's this, um, this rose is giving off this lush, almost wet feeling almost like a creamy creamy textured rose with a little bit of sweetness and some spice as well and then behind that I'm getting a little bit of powder and then a smoky incense where the smoke isn't too smoky it's just a little a little bit of it and also this incense is it's making me think of a clean incense, if that makes sense. It's not very uh, dark. And as I said earlier, it's not very churchy either. This is just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> oh gosh. Expensive, yes, but just amazing. Very, very sexy. I mean, I think the bottle looks very simple, but to me it's also a sexy bottle. Uh, I can picture men and women wear this, but yeah, this is something that I would wear for a special occasion if I wanted to impress because it's giving me these, this idea of a very rich, sophisticated woman or man who is successful. <laughs> That's what I'm picturing in my brain right now. Uh, just a very put together, beautiful person who is very well groomed, very well dressed, super fancy. It smells, it basically just smells very expensive and not in a pretentious way. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I love, I love this one, you guys. My first impression on this one is a thumbs up. So now I'll just read out what the notes are in this one. Okay, so this one was released in 2019, so it's not that new, but it's newer. Uh, the nose is Bruno Jano Jovonovic, probably pronouncing that wrong, sorry. And then the notes in this one and the top are Olibanum, Elomi, and Ink. And that's an interesting note, Ink. <laughs> I think there's Ink in Mortal Skin. I don't know, it's just not a very common note. So when I see ink 
in notes, I kind of just remember it. Uh, so the middle notes are Rosewater, Olibanum, and Suede. And the base notes are Myrrh, Sandalwood, Cedar, and Vanilla. And yeah, there is this beautiful sweetness just kind of amping up this gorgeous, creamy, lush rose scent. And a uh, almost powdery incense. And I love this. <laughs> I really, really love this one. So yeah, those were my first impressions and my very first sniff of Rose Incense from the House of Amouage. I would love to hear what you think of this scent. If you've tried it, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.